Hi, and welcome back to Knights HQ podcast brought to you by Maxwell Recruitment and Training, highly skilled labour hire, real world training from engineering trades construction to office administration. My name's Jay Nelson. I'm here with Matt Croker. We are in our new space for Knights HQ. Yep, this is our new podcast room. So in our centre of excellence, which is pretty impressive and uh, it's pretty exciting. And we've got our Phoenix Coslin here, who's going to be our first guest in this yes. new room. Absolutely honoured. <laughs> How cool is this? It's pretty mad, eh? This is sick. It's yeah. very red. Look, very, very when red. When Matt and I sat down with the shareholders, <laughs> managers, you know, all the, the the top dogs about, you know, who's the first cab off the, the rank. CEOs. Should, yeah, yeah. Well, like it has to be Phoenix Cross. Yeah. There's only oh, one no option doubt. here. No yeah. Yeah. So, no, welcome, mate. Glad you're here. Um, what have they told you about the podcast? Are you nervous? I'm actually a little bit nervous. <laughs> this <laughs> is my first podcast. I've done online ones, but this is my first like face to face podcast. Oh, Actually, can I ask? Well, we're on like, it. Now. What, what do they say? Like, do the boys ever whisper about what yeah, it's like coming it, on here? Because they obviously oh, wouldn't you know say it to, they I'll wouldn't say it to my face or Jay's face. We're pretty cr- uh, close. Yeah, we're pretty. I wouldn't close. lie to you. Yeah, I haven't heard one person speak bad go. words about this podcast. There and you I would go. tell you. So I would tell you that. Yes. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Good stuff. We are pretty close. We lived together, me and Fiend, for a year. We did. It was a weird, weird year that one. We spent a lot of time. I swear. I swear. Every guest you go, <laughs> I've lived with, I live with them for I a year or so. <laughs> nah, I live with Braddy. It was a good time. Yeah, I live with Braddy and me, me, Fiend and Braddy. We all live together. But that was 2020, so that was proper bubble. Okay, proper yeah. bubble yeah. where it was like if you leave. What was the big fella like we, when you we there every to, day? We couldn't go anywhere except Woolies. Yeah, so oh. we used to dress up in our best kit to yeah. go to the groceries <laughs> yeah. every night. So this was like back when blokes would go to a cafe, would be standing there waiting for a coffee. And people would be taking photos, going, "Oh, this bloke, yeah. this bloke is breaking the yeah. rules." Yeah. And we'd be like, "What? What? Are, like, I yeah. just want a coffee, man." Yeah, we yeah. were literally yeah. on house arrest, so. and like yeah. people timing people's time in yeah. the park. Oh, mate, ridiculous. he's two minutes over. What's yeah. going on? Yeah, yeah. 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 So that it was, was full on. Yeah, we had we had some fun times because we couldn't really leave each other, me and old Fiend. Absolutely crazy times, uh, mate. We're gonna start with what we sort of do around Knights HQ parts play a quiz. It's what we always start with. Give you a bit of a, a few questions about and, and test your knowledge because you're coming career. up on 50 games, yeah. Yep. So you've had a good little start to your career. Yep. So, how do you reckon you'll go? We've got five questions throughout your short span of the career from the 50 games. How do you reckon you'll go? Five from five. Oh, I love yeah. that confidence. I back myself. Good yeah. man, yeah. 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 It doesn't mean that long. You want to know, I want to remember everything. You want to know something good, Fiend, is everyone comes on here and we go, How do you reckon you'll go? and they'll go. Oh, I don't know, mate. You know, I don't really look back on my career, and we give them questions, and they <laughs> ace it. Yeah, right. Whereas you, you just oh, you're just transparent. And you just go, no, I'll, I'll go follow my career. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. back myself. Yeah. Um, actually, I've I ran into uh, another staff member who uh, I won't say who it is, but he's an assistant coach from England, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> is he really he said, tall and he, has a receding helmet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, cut that out. He said, uh, "Who's on the podcast at Phoenix?" He's like. You got to ask him what's going on with our haircut. Oh, and he just that is so rich from him. Yeah. I reckon he's jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon he's jealous. <laughs> Hello so I promised him an ask. So there it is. He makes it great. <laughs> so mate, we're going to start with your debut. Uh, it says here you were a teenager, round 16, 2019, coming off the bench against the Warriors. Can you name the two nights that try uh, that went over and scored tries for that game? Sierra Mataria, bang. bang. Um. Oh my god! Okay, how about how about a hint? This first yeah. question. It's hint. still early in the morning. He's a current. He's player. a current player for our club. Yep, yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> just not in life. <laughs> uh, who's still here? <laughs> Joseph. No. No. D-Saf. no. <laughs> Herman S A S A. Fitzy. Oh, Fitzy. Oh, Come on. Shout out to Fitz. Oh, great start. <laughs> Oh, five from oh. five is six. <laughs> yeah. Right, question two. Well, you're at half. Yeah. yeah. You've kicked one goal in your career so far. Which stadium did you kick it at? Queensland Country Bank Stadium. Correct. Correct. Ding, ding, ding. Townsville. Ding, ding. Was Nailed. that last year? Nah. That w- yeah, it could have been actually, yeah. Was it? C- 21. 21. Oh, 2021. Wow. Nah, two years ago. Yeah, Jeez. right. How come you got the kicking duties? Stephen Bradbury, everyone falling Yeah, I've got no idea. <laughs> everyone just didn't want to kick because it was too hot. Everyone just needed a, needed a rest. <laughs> I'll kick one, I'll probably kick again. <laughs> uh, mate, which teams have you played the most in your NRL career? There's three of them. I'm going to say Warriors is one of them. Warriors is yep. one of them. I'm going to say Tigers is one of them. Yep. Tigers is one of them. This is pretty impressive thus far. Ooh. 
I say manly. Oh, is it? No. Good. Yes. 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 That is good. Yes. Do I get double points for that? <laughs> that's, that's that double I'll, I'll give you that and put that onto the half that you missed. Yeah. 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 So sure. technically, wow. three from three. Okay. Which season have you scored the most tries in? This one. This one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought yeah. we'd get you with a little technicality. No. 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 You got to be better. Can he go five from five? Yeah. This is it. Oh, this is hard. You've made 380 <laughs> tackles so far this season. To the nearest percentage, can you guess your tackle efficiency? The oh, hint is it's, it's, it's high. high. 96. Oh! 94. Oh, I myself a bit actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, but That is not well. That's good, mate. That is yeah. real good. Shout out to uh, Jimmy yeah, on great the questions. questions. Great yeah. question, He's dug Jimmy. deep. Good stuff, mate. I like that one, who have you played the most in your career? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's and cool. you nailed that yeah. too. So, look, what are we four? Yeah, four, four. I just, just can't. It's not bad. That. I just can't give you. No, five. I'll cop that. Yeah, but that's good. Three hundred eighty oh, tackles 90, as well. Ninety six. It's only two percent off. Yeah, we'll, go, it, we'll, go, we'll 90, go four and a half. Ninety four point something, or is it just ninety four? What is it, Jimmy? Come on. I believe it was 93.7. Oh, oh, so you ran it okay, up. So we're even further away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, he, he, he had you back. Down. He wasn't going to go down. <laughs> I did a roundup for you, mate. <laughs> you just made something up then, Jimmy. <laughs> That's pretty far off. Uh, it was 98%. <laughs> well done, mate. You nailed it. Um, mate, so let's talk about the season so far. It's been a – obviously, you know, um, Browse is our guy and you never want to wish, you know, any injury on anyone. And the fact that he's had such a hard – sort of slog the last few years is, is devastating for him and, and we love him and shout out Brails, but obviously that's made it so, you know, you're getting a bit more consistent minutes at nine this season. Um, is there anything that's sort of come from that consistent footy that you feel you've missed, like in seasons past? Yeah, obviously, yeah, Brails, he's, he's the best, isn't he? He's, um, he's such a good lad and he's been around me the whole time since he got injured the day after he sent me a text saying, you know, it's your time and you go get it. Um, look, I think yeah, just playing consistent footy, it's it helps everyone. And last year I was playing, I played every like most games, but wasn't probably getting the minutes that you need to, you know, like showcase yourself at a high standard. So, um, like you said, although some like someone's gone down, it's great to get an opportunity. And I was just sort of loving, you know, starting and um, we got a great forward pack game. We got a good crew, so it's it's made it a lot easier for me. I feel comfortable in my own skin around these boys and yeah. Um, I reckon that comes out in your footy. You just sort of yeah, man. expressing yourself a bit more this year. I feel in my football because yeah. you, you grew up as a half. Because I, I grew up playing a lot with you, and you played yeah. a lot in the halves. And it's a big change to go into the middle. But you started doing a little bit last year. What was that like? Yeah, like I was always a half, but I was sort of like I wasn't like a touch footy half. Like I was yeah. a lot to pride myself on my toughness and that. So I always liked tackling. So like the the defense is something I really enjoy. Like getting amongst it with the big boys. Um, but yeah, last year was probably my first time sort of really only playing in the middle. I think I played half twice last year. Um, so this year, last year was really good to get that experience and then I've sort of taken that into this year and just sort of tried to go up another level with it. Yeah, cool, cool. Mm. It's, um, I came up to you after a game, I can't remember which one it was now, maybe Titans? Titans, yeah. I think I came up to you after and I was like, dude, that was, uh, in my opinion, oh, yeah, the, Titans yeah, the, remember, yeah, the yeah. best game yeah. I've seen you play. Like, yeah. The amount of contact you were taking to in the middle and every time they were running at you, man, you just stood your ground and it was just really good to watch. Yeah. Like seeing, watching you play, as we've said before, like starting to get consistent minutes, but not only consistent minutes, like good quality, you know, and it's not easy in there as you know, mm. Croaks, you know, in the middle it's, it's, it's tough work and yeah. just, just watching you take that on and full on and just getting it done was was, was great to watch. Yeah. So congratulations. It's weird, it's weird with the contact, like you – it's it's scary to think about sort of like launching yourself at someone, but once you do it once, it's not that bad. Like mm. you sort of just go, well, that wasn't like it's just the first one you got to go and get. Yeah, and then once that happens, it's like, well, that wasn't that bad. I'll try and do it again. Do you see yourself as a nine now, moving forward consistently? Yeah, I do. Like, do you think the rest of your career you want to have the nine on your back? I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 When, I, when I sit down to think about it, yeah, I think, um, you know, in a perfect world, nine's my main spot, but then I always have that half. And yeah, yeah, Sort yeah. of lock, I can sort of bounce back on. Yeah. Like if someone goes down. Because the thing with a nine is, like, you can do a halves role, part of a halves role in the nine. Mm. You control where the set's going because you're the first bloke to touch the ball when they play the ball. And then you can also kick your game into a bit of percentage play, you know what I mean? Which is yeah. what you've started to do. So yeah. you can play the seven role in the nine as well, yeah. as well as all the tough stuff and be in the middle of it. So and it's a good role. Yeah, and you sort of know, like, growing up playing half, you know when 
I don't know, like when you're at nine, you know when the half needs the footy. Yeah. So I've been in Jacko's shoes, not obviously as much as him, but I know like sort of what he's looking at. Yeah, gotcha. So when he needs the ball, he doesn't really have to sort of say, I need the ball. It's sort of like, well, I need it. I know it needs to go to you. Yeah, yeah. you. Which you sort of helps it. me. Yeah. 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 Um, I think that's something, probably another thing that's helping my footy is I sort of know when Gamble needs the ball, KP or Hasto needs the footy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Um, but let's go back to the start. We did talk about it earlier. But, um, yeah, your debut, can you talk us through it? You know, you, you're a teenager playing flag and cup and you get the call up to play first grade. Um, what was that like? What was the experience like? It was crazy. I remember it was um, when Junior Mitchell Pierce got called back into Origin. Yeah. It was like midweek, so I think it might have been a Tuesday or a Wednesday. And, um, yeah, Brownie just said, oh, if Junior pl- – oh, I think Junior was 100% going to play. Yeah, yeah. Um, he just said, "If junior players, you're playing." Yeah, because you were meant to play. We were meant to play the under twenties origins. Together. We were, yeah. yeah and I had yeah, to pull out of that, yeah, and he had to pull out because he was making his debut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was crazy, and obviously junior ended up playing, so I got a run in first grade, and I sat on the bench and got on the last fifteen. I remember sitting on the bench with um, Aiden Guerra, yeah, Dos, big Dos, the goat, and I've never sat on the bench before that. Um, you know, in the juniors or anything, I didn't, I didn't know what to do. Mm. And I just sat there pestering him. I was like, do I ride the bike? Do I go for <laughs> <laughs> He just goes, mate, shut up, sit down. They'll tell you when you're going yeah, on. Yeah. So I didn't do anything. I was just sitting there drinking Powerade. <laughs> um, yeah, but when I got on, I can't even really remember the game. It was um, obviously, yeah, the best day of my life. But And it was my birthday the next day too. So was it really? Yeah, hectic. Well, I debuted on the 6th of July and it was my birthday the 7th. And yeah, it was a good night, really fun night. How'd we go? I can't remember. We almost, we almost we, won on the belt. We got we got done. No, we got done on the belt. Done on oh, the belt. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. No, I was a killer, but you know, that's I was, right. I was just happy to be playing. Yeah, yeah. man. One hundred percent. I know you were born in New Zealand, mate, but you grew up in Newcastle. Oh, this, in the Central, Central Coast. Coast yeah, yeah, Central Coast. But you played a lot of footy in Newcastle on that. So you're technically a junior. Was there many people there? It was, it was, a, it was a home game as well. It was a home game. Yeah, I had about seventy people there. Yeah, it was crazy, man. It was um, it was. Blokes that I haven't spoken to in years. Yeah. When you see them after a night like that, it's like you're being best mates. Your yeah, whole yeah, life. It was yeah. one of those, you know, like it's yeah. just crazy and your whole family's there. And, you know, I'd, every, every like, seeing now when the young kids debut, like Riven Candy and that, yeah. you just know exactly what they're feeling. And yeah, you see so it, good, same eh? with their family. And, you know, Dill's got that hectic photo he has with him and his family. And it's just, it gives you goosebumps when you know other boys are experiencing that as well. It's yeah. so cool, man. Do you yeah. ever look back on it? Like, go. Uh, so he's, what, what is it? It was 2019, so it was four yeah, years ago. Now, yeah. do you ever just sort of think, how good was that? Like, and yeah, how, I do. and how quick it's all gone? Because oh, recently, so for me, two days ago, well, two years ago on Wednesday or Tuesday, it was two years since I debuted. Yeah, man, yeah. So, so like a memory come up, and I was like, oh, geez, that's gone quick. And the amount of emotions you go through leading up to it, it's so cool. Oh. Like, do you ever think about it like that? I do. I, I think. Well, I, every time we're going to my mum's my house, she has the photo of me running out yeah, yeah, right yeah. near the front when door. When you're smiling. Yeah. Yeah, I've yeah. seen Yeah, I know the photo. It's a gun photo. It's yeah. my favourite photo ever. And, um, yeah, I look at that and just go, wow, like, it's so cool. And then, as you said, it like, four years has gone, man. It's so cool. I oh, know. It's ridiculous. It's off its head, like. And the, the, the lows and the highs, you ride with it. I've only been playing, like, first grade for four years. And the amount of lows I've gone through and the highs is... Yeah. It's just through the roof, so I can't imagine what the next like sort of ten years is going to yeah. be. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to go pretty quick, but um, yeah, no, nah, yeah, I do. It's it's a it's a cool feeling, um, mate. You sort of known as a really versatile player. You can play a lot of different positions. Is that something that's just happened over time, or have you sort of, I guess, tried your best to sort of learn as much as you can and be sort of, you know, vigilant in a lot of different areas on the field so when you do get called up, you can fill whatever gap needs yeah. to be filled? Do you think it helps your chances to get a debut or helps your chances to play regular first grade when you're not – when you can do a lot of different things on, on the park? 100%, man. I look at um, Riley Jones now and he's the same – he's in the same boat. He can play everywhere. He can play in the OBs. I can't do that. But, like, when I – when I sort of looked at myself as a utility for the first time, it wasn't like – Adzi didn't just come up to me and go, you're the 14, I need you to play lock, hooker, yeah. half. It was just at training and if, you know, someone didn't train that day because of like a sore, sore hamstring or something, would be like, fan jumping at lock or something. And I'd like go, all right. And then I think that's probably how I got the 14 last year is because I did a bit of training in the pre-season in sort of different areas. And it was just, you know, I'm, I'm like a fairly sized number seven if I played in the seven, so I can always – Hold me own in the middle And it was just something That sort of Yeah Evolved over time it wasn't just like a Yeah You just walk in one day And said oh you need to play All these different positions It was just Do you reckon it's a lot About attitude as well Just knowing yeah. that Instead of going Oh wait up 
well, I haven't played a lot there or I haven't done that before. Yeah. Just having that attitude of going, well, I'm getting an opportunity. I'm going to run with it. Oh, 100%. Both hands and get in there and get the work done. Yeah, especially at this age. Like when you're so young, it's just you do anything to be out there with, you know, heroes and playing first grade and winning for the town. So, yeah, it was. it's, a, it's an attitude, but... Um, you know, when you're young, I think it's just, yeah. I don't like it's an easy attitude to have. Like you're getting playing, you're playing first grade, eh? Like it's, yeah, it's exactly. your dream. Like it's 100. percent Don't say no to. I usually ask people this, and I probably know the answer. Asking you because I've known you for so long, but was it always footy? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. always was. Yeah, it still is, man. Like it's pretty bad to say. Like I don't have any other passions except yeah footy. I'm the same. Yeah, I'm the same. People always say. Like what's your oh, other you, plan? You, you've but got I, you've got some like music yeah. taste stuff. No, nah, but that's just that's, but that's just like I feel like things I enjoy yeah. interest. I guess but yeah. like liking it, something yeah. different to having a passion. To like I'm yeah, not passionate yeah. about. To me, it's music, it's footy you know, like yeah. all the way. Yeah. Like I'll sit at home and I will watch YouTube clips of old games, like highlights and stuff. You like like, that. like it's like just all footy, yeah. And and it was like that for you. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. Like I said, there's nothing else I really really love. Um you know, I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing. But no, I think a, moment, a lot yeah. of guys that are successful in their field yeah. have never had a plan B. Nah. Yeah. It's always just like, well, I think I saw an interview with, I can't remember who it was now, I say Travis Barker or someone. Yeah. And he's like. The drummer? Yeah, yeah Blink yeah. drummer. And yeah. he's like, even before I was in Blink, because he's the second drummer in the band, yeah. he was like playing gigs and kind of, you know, in these mid-tier sort of festival filler sort of acts. Yeah. And he's like, I didn't have an aspiration to be in Blink in one of the biggest bands in the world. Yeah, I yeah, just yeah. knew this is what I'm going to be doing the rest of my yeah. life. And yeah. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah. So it was really cool to sort of see when you don't have that plan B and that's the only option, well, well, yeah. you have to make it work. Yeah, you've know? exactly. got to work a bit harder, don't you? Because yeah. you know you've got nothing else to fall back exactly on. So right. it's all, all the eggs in one basket. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. No, very cool, very cool. Now, mate, away from footy, tell us about it. Any, any side hustles? Any, uh, we just said that your only focus is footy, so this is an interesting follow-up question, but let's go to interest. What 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 else gets the brain ticking outside of footy? I'll tell you what I told Grace the other day. I did my first puzzle. Oh, yeah, he's For the puzzles. first time yes, the other man. day. Yeah. Massive fan of puzzles. My mate, my roommate, Dil Black, one of my best mates. Does he still live with you? He lives with me. He moved <laughs> I in. Yeah. did not know yeah. that. Yeah. Well, he only moved in two weeks ago. There you so go. There you go. Um, did anyway. you live for a couple of years or? <laughs> no, 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 no. I went to school then. <laughs> when he moved in, he brought over this 1,000 piece puzzle and he's still doing it. And I said, I can't do that, but I'll, I'll try a 500 piece one. Yeah. Mate, I was that invested in it. Like, I'm going to go buy another one and just keep doing puzzles. I reckon yeah. it's so good. Like, I'm not a massive reader or anything. Yeah. Um, Reading's hard so Reading's hard but oh. This puzzle man I want you to do one No, nah, but I've done yeah. some I've done them before I've done like 500s and 1000 pieces Did you like it? Yeah I did I enjoyed it <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's, it's, it's something I'm not going to get back into But I do <laughs> enjoy it Yeah, oh, I think I might have a couple I could give you a couple Yeah I'll yeah. trade it for the instant coffee Sweet <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, So uh, well, well it's your it. first podcast it's the first podcast in this room And it's the first puzzle yarn that we've had yeah, So yeah, exactly. Good yes. stuff Thank you Um yeah Side hustles Not really No Um I like going to the beach, getting a coffee, and but you do yeah, do a lot. You d- like, yeah. I know it sounds like he's he's not doing anything. But Fien, and I'll probably embarrass him a bit. He goes to like under twelves, coaches an under twelves rugby league side. Yeah, well, does a lot for right. his younger brother and sister and that. And he's doing school visits on his own. He's a he's a very good man, uh, communitized man. Yeah, I'd fans. say me, I'd say me spare time. Yeah, family. Yeah, yeah. Good because stuff. I got a little brother and sister, and my little brother like he just loves what he loves. Crocs, he loves yeah, the man. whole team, man, and. I'll get a real kick out of it. He, I'm just his brother, so he doesn't care about me. But <laughs> when he comes in the sheds and that, yeah. it's off its head. Like, he loves the boys. Like, imagine growing up, so like, having an older yeah. brother that can take you in the sheds and meet your heroes. Like, I'll get a real kick out of that. Yeah. Like, it's, like, it's like Dill Lucas's uh, exactly, yeah. younger brother. He absolutely yeah. loves it. And because Dill Lucas and his brother are Indigenous, last year I gave him my Indigenous jersey. Yeah. And I thought nothing of it. Yeah. And I just thought, oh, I'm just giving another, like, a good mate of mine, his younger brother, the jersey, but yeah. that meant the world to him. It's yeah. crazy. So cool. Man. You just sort of don't think about it when you're in the position, but you don't, yeah. what it's like for them is so yeah. cool. I always think back to like what would eight year old fan be yeah, doing? Yeah, right that's now. what I always like, do. Mate, that's like he yeah. would not he would not believe like me now saying this is what you'll be doing. Yeah. yeah. Doing yeah. this for kids and it's, oh, it's just And I'll vouch so for this cool. as well The only photos you've ever asked me to take of you Are when your little brother's either post-match Or in the yeah. sheds or whatever yeah. like that You've never yeah. asked loves, anything on yeah. the field or anything like yeah. that It's only when he's around He loves so. coming down I always um, throw him over the fence And he does a yeah. lap with us when we win yeah. and He claps <laughs> the crowd And he's, he sees some kids he goes to school with and that And he thinks he's mad oh, like, he gives a little so wave. Cool. Oh, Actually, he's, he's the best That reminds me of something So when we played Manly I um. 
It's funny. I kind of, because I've watched you guys train enough, I've got a rough inkling of where the ball's going to go when we're in attacking yeah, set. Right, yeah, right. So yeah, I can yeah. get in the right position to get good picks and stuff. Yeah. So, you know, f- hopefully it's what I think. Anyway, in the Manly game, I was out of it, eh? Like, yeah. it just felt like wherever I was, the ball was on the other side of the field and I just yeah. couldn't get a feel for it. Anyway, I was like, nah, I'm going to... I'm going to go down Greg's side of the field in the second half because we're putting a fair bit of traffic yeah. down there. Oh, so, yeah. you know oh, what yeah. I mean? Ooh, early yeah. border Greg. Oh, yeah, early. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm going to get in the uh, – so we we're going towards the southern corner. So I was like, yeah, I'll go, yeah. I'll go going, in the southeast going corner. The yeah. You know, the big ambulance-like yeah. driveway yeah. corner bit? Yeah. Anyway, I was walking down the touchline and there was a couple, who's who's next on the podcast, mate? Oh, really? From the Southern Hill. I was oh, like, how good. So shout out Southern Hill. <laughs> yeah, All right. How good. It's That's Phoenix sick. Crossing. <laughs> 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 Sorry. So I, I, I hadn't, I didn't, I forgot to tell you about that after yeah, the game, yeah, but yeah, I was no, like, I sick, that, that was really good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, rock and roll. Um, Mate, what are the goals for the remainder of the season? Obviously, finals footy is what, you know, everyone's sort of searching for. Yeah. Well, um, let's, well, let's go personal goals and yeah, then team yeah. goal. You know, teams obviously oh. will be playing with Tammies in September. Yeah, 100% finals. Um, I don't know. I'd love to sort of... 96% not, tackle yeah, efficiency. Yeah, 100% <laughs> up a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, personal goals, I'd love to play. I'd love to just be the nine every week. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, bit far-fetched i'd like to get sort of because i'm a kiwi i'd sort of maybe like to be in a few conversations oh. about being in, a, in the kiwi squad at some time yeah 100 percent. Yeah. i was meant to ask you that because you are born in new zealand which a lot of people mightn't realize so you have eligibility to play for the kiwis yeah i yeah. can yeah what about the maori all-stars is that different i've got no idea i think i could yeah because I, I like i know i have some maori in my family like yeah. way way back maori sorry yeah 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 yeah, well, no, yeah, right. yeah. yeah, yeah. um I could, I reckon I could, man. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Like I haven't really thought about that. That I, is yeah. so sick. I yeah. completely forgot about that. But do you have like claims to play for Australia as well? I can. I think I can honestly choose who I want at the yeah. moment. Yeah, which right is on. that's handy. Pretty yes. cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if I you if you pledge yourself to New Zealand, does it, that yeah. does that wipe out the chance of Australia and yeah. Origins and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, that's okay. a tough pit. That's a tough part. I think yeah. if I'm thinking selfishly, I'd love to play Origin and for Australia, but. My uncles, they'd kill me. They yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 right. They're so like they they want me they want me to play rugby. Oh, you know? right, yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. They're just crazy, and you know my uncles one of those ones. Oh, mate, if I had your skill when I was your age, I could have played for <laughs> oh, the All Blacks. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, mate, whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, my family. It's uh, if I was going to play for the Kiwis, it'd be because of my family. Yeah, not because it's like obviously I'd love to, but like if I'm thinking selfish, obviously Australia. I've lived here. Yeah, but yeah. family wise, I think it'd be Kiwis. Which is sick. Cool. How, yeah, that'd be you, awesome. how old were you when you moved over? I was four, so I was very young. Yep. That's why I haven't got the accent or anything. I've just yep. all I've known is Australia. I think like I am Australian. Yeah, like culturally. Yeah, yeah. 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 Is that a word? Yeah, yeah, yeah culturally yeah, is a word. Yeah, culturally is definitely yeah. a word. Yeah. Um, it's a word you just made up. <laughs> 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 take it, take it. <laughs> um, but is there anything just before this? Before we take a little break, is there any um, uh, games sort of this year that pop in your mind? Anything that sort of is a personal highlight for you um, that we've done so far? That we've already played? Yeah. Ooh. Well, throughout your so we've looked forward, years, yeah. let's look back. Yes. Oh, yeah. Throughout your all four all like all since you've career. debuted. I'd say I've got a, a, a big game. Sorry, I thought it was just this year. Oh, Any game. Matter, no. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've got a, I've got a, a game that I, I really enjoyed was um against Manly at home. I think it might have been 20. It was tw- – what year we going? 20, it was, it was um, 20, 2021. You want to know how I know you're going to say this? Is because the next week I debuted. Yeah, and yeah, I it was a quad. Yeah, yeah, oh. and because Clem got suspended and Frizz did his ankle. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I remember it. It yeah. was the Manly game, and I'd done a I'd done a grade three quad tear in the warm up, and it was oh. my kicking leg, and I was a halfback. Oh my yeah. god! And that was I don't think I forget who was eighteenth man, but was that when Desaf scored at the yeah. end to win? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Gotcha. And then he he made Origin the next yeah. week. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, and that was like my head was spinning, man, because there was no other halves. Like eighteenth man mustn't have been a half. I forget who it was. And so in the warm up, in the warm up, in the physio. So when like, it happened, did you just go? Oh, oh I was no. like, oh, I told the physio, I said, "Boss, man, I can't, like, I can't do it." And he goes, "Mate, you have to." <laughs> oh. He goes, "I'm walking away, and you're playing." Oh. Shout out to Boss, great physio. Yeah, shout out, shout out. Um, great man, great man. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I was a halfback, and we ended up winning. But um, I remember got a few raps after the game for my kicking game. It was my kicking leg, and I was like, oh, "How cool is that?" Like. Yeah, man. How'd you do it? How'd you get through well, it? Well, I got a few painkillers before. Yeah, right. So I couldn't really feel it. After the game was torture. 
Yeah. And I missed, like, it was good and bad because I missed Croaks' debut the next week, yeah, which I was right. filthy yeah. with. And it was Johnsy's too. It was Johnsy's, yeah. and it was actually Jake Clifford's club debut. So I missed out on a lot. And it was the yeah, 20, was and it was the 20, 20 Elbow's Day, oh, 20th yeah. anniversary. Elbow's day, and it was the 20-year anniversary of the 01 Grand Final. <laughs> oh, was it? Wow. Yeah. Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Like yeah. Like You've got a good memory. He, yeah. I do, yeah. With stuff Cro- like that. Here's a it's list a of things memory. that you missed yeah. the next yeah. week. Yeah. Stuff like that. So maybe that wasn't my favourite game. I'll tell you what Knights have done real good this year. You celebrate the jerseys well. Yeah. Our Anzac Day jersey was like, I reckon, unbiased, one of the best in the league. I agree. And then our Indigenous jersey was so special. I agree. It was so good. And the presentations they do. It's so good. On Captain's Run. Oh, so good. Gives you goosebumps, eh? So good. And then I think we got a Women's in League one coming up. Yeah. And Is maybe a retro the round. Name, the names on your embroidery on your jersey. Yeah. 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 The ones last year were cool too. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. We got all the all the women. We got some good jerseys, eh? Definitely. Very, very cool. Um, Look, we're going to take a quick break. And, oh, we've got a couple of guests crowd, here. We've, we've got, got a crowd. crowd. Oh, it's Jack yeah, Johns. <laughs> <laughs> Tour guide, Jack Johns. Yeah, uh, yeah we're going to take a little break. This is Nuts HQ. We'll be back with you soon. So I don't know if you notice, but Phoenix Croslin has quite the shirt on at the moment. Phoenix is part of our Gen K Club, which is $85. You get three games and a limited edition Pie Guy shirt. Go to knightshub.com.au to get your shirt and sign up. Gen K, born and bred, pie guy shirt, you shirt, bang. Definitely. Do it. Definitely. Definitely. That's a bargain if I've ever heard of one. I couldn't believe it. it was. All cool. right. Next uh, next thing, we're going to be talking about our tunes of the week. Who wants to kick us off? Fiend? What Give are you listening to? Yeah, Give us something. I feel like mine's a bit different. Like, my generation hip hop. Yeah. You, yeah. Know, you, know what I'm, you know exactly what I'm going to be. It's not going to be old I know school. You're that. Yeah. And I don't know how interesting this is going to be for you, Jay, because I don't know if you would crux you. You know, you know Gunner. I, I know a bit of Gunner. So you know Young Thug. I know a bit. Young, of Young Thug's Thug. in jail. Yeah, yeah okay. In Gunner was in jail with Young Thug, and he got out about two weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, not two weeks ago. Two months ago. Yeah. And he's been real quiet. Like apparently he snitched on Young Thug on like why in he's jail. in jail and yeah, it's sort of wow. like well, no one really likes Gunner anymore. You're a snitch. Right. I didn't know Hectic. that. Yeah. And Gunner released his new, like his first song since he got released this week called Bread and Butter. And it's just, it's like poetry to me. I okay. love that sort of stuff, man. It's just like a story saying, um, he, he, he explains like, he's like, you can believe what you want. I know the truth. You're either riding with me or you're not. And yes. I just sort of like that. Like, I think, are you looking it up? No, 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 I'm not. Sorry. Yeah, um, keep going. I reckon it's, I reckon it's gun. Yeah. I just like that sort of stuff. Like yeah. he just does not care what anyone thinks. Do you find the WWE soap opera vibes of the hip hop game adds to it? I wasn't a big WWE fan, but you know, you like, know how like sorry. with wrestling, there's always these all these storylines yeah, yeah, and like yeah, who's yeah, mates yeah, and who's yeah, not. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Do you reckon I love that, that add, sort of stuff that adds to the hip hop thing? I researched that sort of stuff, like the beef and that you're talking about. Yeah, 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 right, yeah, I, yeah. I am the so plot into lines, that. you know, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we get around that. Yeah. With the diss we, tracks. Remember when um, Jake was going at... Yeah, oh. yeah, no, but remember yeah, when he was going one. at Pusha T? Oh, my and God. And Pusha T... <laughs> Didn't Pusha T <laughs> announce he's had a yeah. kid? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, oh, that's a low blow, man. Yeah, that was... <laughs> that is a low... That he, was crazy. He, Pusha T released a song <laughs> called Story of Adonis, which is... And that's Drake's Drake name. No one knew No one knew Adonis. Yeah. That is... Like, you don't do that, man. <laughs> Drake's probably the most famous person in the world. Yeah, ever. Oh, what was he like? Like, gets on Twitter that morning. He's like, I don't know. Oh, Ooh, yeah. imagine seeing that. Wow. Well, I, I, I seen an interview with Drake, um, like a while after that, and they asked him about that, and he just goes, "Man, he can have that." Like, yeah. When you when you like go that low, yeah, that was. Yeah, like, I'm not gonna even worry. Like that just tells that says but a lot Drake, more about you than Drake anyone. Drake basically else. had to release an album. The first four songs were like explaining why he didn't <laughs> <laughs> didn't um, release said he had a kid. <laughs> or Drake, so, <laughs> who wants to explain why they yeah. had a kid? If we're if we're getting technical, yeah. we should probably one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my uh, my tune of the week. I'm gonna stay on the hip hop theme. So people might not like this, but if you do, it's a couple UK rappers. Dave and Central C dropped a little EP I know Dave. together. Outstanding. Outstanding. Little four song EP or five song maybe called Split Decision. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. What's up? Is uh, Dave the artist that uh, uh, Tiago? Yeah, Tiago Silva. Yeah. Silva. And there's a video. And the kid yeah, gets up and raps yeah, it. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I know On Dave. YouTube. Yeah. Look, it, look it up. Yeah. yeah. No, nah, it's good. Um, What's your tune of the week, Jay? Mate, I am going to go a bit more, I guess, old school, kind of. That's okay. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. New Foo yeah. Fighters album drops. Oh, oh, I did too. I seen that. Um, A very... Like obviously in tragic circumstances, Dave Grohl, yeah. Taylor Hawkins dies in I think it was May, 
Then his mother died in August. Oh, jeez. So is that, the, is that the lead singer? I've got yeah, yeah, yeah. So like long long loses hair. his drummer, long time best mate. Oh no. Then his mum died like a couple months later. Oh dear. So this album, all the songs are written about those two people in his life, and um, from tragic circumstances, one hundred percent. But they've kind of come back in great form. Oh, the yeah, songs are good. Yeah, the songs are really yeah, good. Right, I might have to listen to like it kind of back to his. I don't know. I kind of found like. The first three to four Foo Fighter albums are great because they're, I guess, a complete representation of what his musical sensibilities are. Yeah. And then they get massive. And then there's kind of like a crop of albums that are like very made for Triple M yeah, sounding, right, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Right, like yeah, a bit yeah, sort yeah. of down the middle. Mm. Still cool moments, but as a whole, you know, a bit safe. That's probably what I want to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas yeah. this one, he's like... It is I'm just, just expressing is, yeah. how I feel yeah, yeah, And yeah. it's You know who we are You listen to it if yeah, yeah. Very 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 cool So, so you're very um, I, I enjoyed that Musically inclined yeah, like, That was yeah, really, really interesting cool. Yeah No, nah, it's uh, It's it's uh, You know People saying Oh like This is like Old school It's like Yeah but you gotta look at the Story around it And why yeah. people do What they do You know So when you listen to a song Do you really listen to it Do you study Yeah, like, yeah. Not, not just the lyrics But you listen like, yeah, yeah. the music The production Yeah in, in, terms of, in terms of albums, yeah, like <clears throat> you listen to an album start to finish in order and be able to tell the storyline that yeah, the artist is trying to say. Yeah, well, cool. it's like it's like I find me, that intriguing because I've do tried that? doing. Dude, yeah, I, I hate. Do that I hate on, singles. I, I can do em. that. Yeah, I can yeah. do that on some albums, but they're okay. Yeah. when you're like a couple beers deep and you just want to listen yeah. to a good song. Yeah. Totally yeah. get it. I can only sort of do it when I listen to like the oh, alternate okay. music that I listen to, yeah. which is like a little bit more different and uh, a little bit. Left field And it's like more sad music Like yeah, if you get what gotcha. I'm saying Like when I listen to A Lana Del, Del Rey album I can tell what she's trying to say Yeah Which is so weird It's well, so weird For me yeah. I've never understood that Then yeah. a whole album Is one piece of Expression Yeah yep. It'd be like looking at a painting And then they go Oh you can only look at a One by one centimetre square Of the whole painting Yeah right You want to yeah. see the whole thing yeah. In its entire form mm. And I feel Music these days It's getting away from that Because people Want to just smash out three minute songs that yeah. hopefully get on a TikTok sound and then they 100%. get famous and great. Well, that's how they make money. So, too. which is yeah. cool too. Which like is cool. Rock and roll. Make your bread. You know what yeah. I mean. Make your bread. Do like, what you got to do. The days of someone getting on their laptop and making something in their bedroom and then it goes huge and then they don't have to worry about money for the rest of their life. Rock and roll. Yeah. yeah. Get 100%. into it. But yeah, the art of being able to put ten or more songs together. That there's a thread through the whole thing. It makes sense. Do you reckon? Do you reckon, do you reckon mute, like you talk about TikTok, obviously a massive one, and kids' favorite songs would be TikTok. Yeah, sounds. yeah, yeah, exactly. But do you reckon music's like not dying? But do you reckon it's going backwards? Like <sighs> no, I don't, I don't. I think it's just different. Yeah, it's just different. Yeah, like people are still at the root of any art. Could be painting, music, whatever. It's self-expression. Yeah. I'm expressing how I feel, and the tools are just different. Yeah. So back in the 70s or the 50s, it was very, um, you know, uh, there's a lot of like jazz, big band, that sort of stuff. Then it went rock and roll. Then the 70s was all guitar music. Yeah. So the people that were in the 50s and 60s would listen to 70s music, yeah, which yeah, we yeah. class as the best ever, yeah, going, yeah. oh, what's this what's stuff? That, yeah, what are they yeah, doing? It, yeah, just, yeah. it just keeps repeating yeah, itself. Yeah. Oh, so that's true, yeah. now these days, you know, Kanye makes Yeezus in 2010 with a bunch of auto-tune on it and everyone's like, what the hell yeah, is this? Yeah, what the hell? Yeah. Now... 13 years that. later, everyone's copying that album's <laughs> yeah. production. You know, like, you're just talking yeah. about TikTok fiend. Isn't it funny, <laughs> like, the influence that social media and popularity has? Like, it's for some reason, something just come into my head about an artist posted on TikTok. I can't remember the artist, but she was like, why am I trending? And it's because one of her snippets of her songs on TikTok yeah. Yeah, man. was, like, the biggest sound, right? Yeah. And then I think back a couple of years ago, um, when Stranger Things released, do you remember that old song "Running Up That Hill"? Yeah, by yeah. I can't remember Kate Bush. Yeah, by yeah. Kate Bush. <laughs> Hectic. And because that was a that was the song in one of the biggest scenes in the TV show, because yeah. this TV show is so yeah. big. Yeah. That skyrocketed yeah. to number one. Isn't that crazy, dude? Like my kids, so like they instead of singing songs, they'll just say memes and yeah. laugh at each other. Yeah, right. I'm like, right, how right. do you know what That's that is? What's going on? You know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like crack up. Yeah. Like, can you and shut up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? What are you doing? And um. But the biggest thing, it's funny too, like all those animated movies that come out, yeah. they normally redo, so like Sing and... Love Sing. Um, I'm just trying to think some other ones um, that I saw, that I've seen with the kids lately. 
even like super, watching Super Mario. Yeah. They didn't know that that's a video game from the 80s. Oh, they wow. They just, you know, it's Super Mario. Well, they on, just thought it was a movie. Yeah, yeah. So oh, wow. when they're watching Sing and they're, you know, they're playing Elton John and doing all that, and yeah. I'm singing along. They're like, Dad, how do you know uh, Sing? Oh. And it's like, nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. This is old school. This is old school. I'm still to teach you something. <laughs> so, but that's what I mean. It's just different. Yeah. It's just a different way of yeah. sort of, you know, but it's, it's very interesting. It's very, very cool. Okay, mate, before we finish, uh, we've just got some rapid fire questions. Just, just for the listeners, if they've missed anything, just to get to know Phoenix Crosland. Okay, so person who has played the biggest role in help shaping your career. Mum. Mum. You know that. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of linking to what we were just talking about. Best concert or live music you've ever seen? I bet you I know this. <laughs> you say it. Drake. Drake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he went the night before I went. Oh, gun. Okay. Uh, uh, favorite movie growing up? Ooh. Or well, favorite movie of all time? Um, Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, good choice. Okay, nice. That's outstanding. Nice. Easy to watch because there's some good looking people. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, shout out Wholesome to Jonah Entertainment. Hill. <laughs> Wholesome <laughs> Entertainment. Hill, you're the man. Uh, junior Club. Aaron at Eagles. Aaron at Eagles. Shout out. Okay, and last one. Would you rather be able to turn invisible or be able to teleport? Invisible. Like it. Yep. Hey, mate, thanks for coming on today. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. It was a good episode and we had a lot of fun. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Congrats on what you're doing on the footy field, mate. Thanks, mate. Killing it. Killing yeah, it, no, folks. playing extremely well. And thanks for christening the. The new room with us, mate. This is awesome. First cup off the rank. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, guys, you can subscribe and leave a review on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, The full video versions of all the podcasts is up on YouTube. Uh, You can like, subscribe, hit notification bells so you know when we've dropped a new video. Um, And look, there's always something going on here at the Knights, and the best way to stay up to date is with our club website or through our social media accounts. All of our social media accounts is at NRL Knights. We'd also like to thank Maxwell Recruitment and Training again for this episode of the podcast. Croaks, thanks again, mate. Thanks, Fiend, JJ. Thanks again. Thanks, we'll see you thanks on the next listeners. one.